Hey guys. Reversing it. Ooh, let's see. So, I found a spot in my car where I like shoved my phone in it. So I'm hoping this will work because you know, I'm constantly driving and it's kind of hard to like hold my phone like on my steering wheel and drive at the same time. Oh, let me turn my radio off. What am I doing? See, that's how you know I'm not like a real YouTuber. Ooh, see, phone just shifted. That's how you know I'm not a real YouTuber when you make the fatal mistake of having your radio still on while you're driving, right? So I am going home. I just, I got done with school today, I'm teaching, and I had to pick up my taxes. I went a few weeks ago, like end of March I went, and of course, of course I can't find what I did with some of my 1099s and W-2s. Could find them. I still don't know where they are. I have looked all over my house. I'm willing to bet that my husband threw them away at this point. It's either here nor, nor there. I, I got all of them, I hope, at least. I hope I got them all. So I just went today after I emailed the accountant the last of, like, there was like four, four of them I needed to send in and just had a sign and pay for our taxes. So we're getting a little small return back, nothing of at all significance, but I guess it's better than nothing, right? It's so crazy. It's so crazy to think like taxes and how much we pay. We pay a lot in Illinois. It is ridiculous, like totally ridiculous. And you know, I, I've been audited before by the IRS. Back when I was 24, I was 24. And I used TurboTax and I got audited. I had to go to Schiller Park, which is like a suburb really close to Chicago, which it, and it's, it was far from my house for like four or five months-ish. Every month I had to go check in and bring information, all this stuff. And so what happens if they find like that you owe money, you don't just say, here, I'll write you a check for what I missed or failed on TurboTax. No, you get charged interest on that money because that's like the government's money and you didn't give it to them, so they could have used your money and invested it and made more money, essentially, and because you didn't file your taxes correctly or or whatever, and you got audited, now you have to pay the interest on, on it. And it's not, like, totally crazy or anything. Well, for me, it wasn't. Um, wasn't crazy, but you still got to pay. And... But it's crazy, like the government takes out money from your checks and stuff, and when you, you could have essentially used that money earlier, like, it's not like you're getting interest back on that. It's just kind of like this weird double standard thing that I think about. Yeah, I should do a story time about how I've been audited by the IRS. Um, if you're interested, I can do that. Just let me know. It was really quite a, quite an experience that made me smarter, if you will. And I don't want to do that again. Absolutely not. But I had, I'm glad it happened when I was young and, you know, I didn't have a lot of money or anything, but it just made me smarter now. Like guys, here's some advice. If you're getting money from a side business, whatever that is, and it's not taxed, right? I'm not an accountant, so please don't, like, hold this to me if you get busted. But I'm just saying, like, say you get money from, like, I had a roommate, right? And my roommate would pay me money to live in, in a room of my house that I own. And I 
was taking his checks, okay? His checks and putting them into the bank. So then when the IRS is going through my stuff and they go through like your accounts and stuff, they see that you have, you're getting checks consistently, right? And I wasn't paying taxes on it. So then you have to explain. And yes, there's like, I think in Illinois, there's like $15,000 or maybe that's a federal law. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I This taxes and health insurance confuse me. But there's like, it used to be 10000 that you could get as a gift without having to pay tax. Or like 15000 I think now it is, where you can get that as a gift and not have to pay tax on it. So if you get like an inheritance and it's over fifteen thousand, then you have to pay taxes on it. It's just like weird stuff like that, which it's like get your money paws out of my wallet, you know, out of my purse. Get them out. You money grubbing government you. That gives me a lot of things that I take for granted, but still at the same time, like enough is enough. Yeah. Uh, so I have a whole story time on that. That that was fun. But anyways, what my point is, is if you're getting like money, keep it close to your heart, meaning keep it in your pocket. Don't put it in the bank. Put it somewhere safe, but I probably wouldn't put it in the bank. If you're getting substantial amounts of money, you, you don't need people to be able to have record of it. Just saying. I'm a criminal, criminal, I'm a criminal. No, I'm not a criminal. I just, it's my money and I need it now. I don't know if you guys have that commercial, but there's a, a commercial on TV, like on like, you know, like those like junkie channels, like they have all like those like um, judge shows and stuff or, you know, like those junkie channels with like Jerry Springer. I love them. I love that kind of like cheap TV. It's like, you know, that's like the original, um, reality shows, right? Like Jerry Springer, Maury, but he's my baby daddy, you know, Maury, you're not the father, all those. Um, and basically you can tell if it's a junkie show or not based on how many for-profit universities advertise. Come get your associate's degree, get, you know, go to ITT Tech or those like for-profit colleges that like promise like the, the Phoenix schools like schools that promise you a degree online and then it's hard for you to get a job because they weren't like accredited and it's like all a scam basically oh my gosh that's one thing if you want to get me heated let's talk about for-profit universities they make me so mad oh lord they make me mad guys do your homework before you go to school for a for-profit school. Um, you have like non-profit and for-profit. And these for-profit universities have like ruined so many people's lives. And they essentially just steal from the government. Because you get qualified for financial aid. And then these people basically go to like these schools that really are not accredited to the high standards that we have like at like state schools or even like private schools that are accredited. So you get these like student loans and then people can't pay their student loans back and they default and you can't default on like federal loans like that. You can't default, you have to pay them back. Like even if you file bankruptcy, they never go away. It is like herpes, you know, that shit just Sometimes it doesn't irritate you as bad. I'm, I'm, I don't have herpes, so I don't really know what I'm talking about. But like, but they're always there. So like, these student loans are always there. So people go to school, and they cost significantly more than what like a community college or like a state school would cost. But because it's online, it's convenient, and they paint this like pretty picture of you know it's not as hard as like state schools. It's not as um, expensive. There's not as much of a competition to get in. Everybody gets in. And people spend all this money and then they get this degree that is virtually like worthless in a lot of ways. I mean, aren't most degrees nowadays right worthless, but you know what I'm saying? They get these like degrees that are worthless and they never their student loans start coming through and they can't buy houses, people can't they, they can't pay these loans back and it just will stay with them for
forever and ever and ever. And their degree, like I said, is, doesn't really mean anything. So then they end up kind of back where they started. So I was talking about TV shows that are junky and you can tell based on like, how, you can tell a TV channel is junky based on how many for-profit advertisements um, for colleges are on there. Oh, sorry, I went on a rant, but I hate for-profit colleges and I wish I explained it a little bit better, but there's a really cool documentary. I think it's like on PBS website and it will tell you all about for-profit universities and why they are so scary. There's another one too, um, I think it's on PBS, like .com, about airplanes. And I know like if you guys follow Shane Dawson at all, uh, he recently tweeted out something about airplanes, about how like a lot of them are older, something about like in Malaysia, um, people have like these airplanes or something and and there's things that they were like on recall but like certain places still have them da 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 well if you really want to be freaked out and you're not flying anytime soon there's a really interesting documentary about airplanes and that some air like airplanes are significantly like older than I thought they were like there's airplanes that are like 30 plus years old out there flying still and when you think about like a car you're like oh my gosh your car's 10 years that's so old well an airplane 30 years old almost just seems like a dinosaur right so there's just a lot of like cool cool things like that um i believe again like pbs <sighs> oh i need a nap i just got myself all worked up let's talk about for-profit universities and airplanes and Airplane safety. No, I'm just kidding. I'm like playing with my hair. Actually, this this is actually working. This like camera. You guys, it has almost been six months since I had my thyroid completely removed. I am definitely going to film a video um, probably next week because then it would be six months about having my thyroid removed. And you know, I show the scar all the time, but it actually. To me, it doesn't look bad. It, it doesn't look great. Trust me, I, I'd rather like not had to have done the surgery and would have had like a normal thyroid, but I didn't get that option. So, I mean, I can't complain. I think it's healing up rather nicely and I'm sure in another six months, it'll look even better. So that's that. But I'm going to make an update shortly about six months since I had oper the operation and just where life has been and just what I've noticed so stay tuned for that video but like I said I'm just driving home um, I had to get my taxes done I was at work all day today I'm kind of I'm really I'm not kind of I am I'm pretty tired we had, um, where do we be? We, I had a promo last night. It was late. It was like 11 to 1 a.m. So, I got home rather late and then I had to wake up, teach English to my Chinese students, and then teach my kids at school. So, I'm definitely, definitely at this point kind of crashing so it's all in a day's work right oh man oh man oh man oh man hello traffic let's see I'm trying not I'm gonna try to get over that's what I'm looking at I hate traffic it's like that's why I can't live in like a big major city because traffic just drives me absolutely wild. And not in a good way, you guys. I hate traffic. Oh, my phone is ringing, so that's my cue to let you guys go. See you next time. Bye.